Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. I want to let you know that tonight at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, I'm releasing the next episode in the Alien Invasion series. For people who have seen it uh, pre-released over on Patreon, by the way, if you want to be a supporter, you get your name in the end credits, you can pop over to patreon.com slash praxisprepper, get your name in the end credits of any of the new episodes that get released, and you get to preview them. And give me opinions like uh, I've been receiving recently on the episode that you're about to see tonight, that this is where things really start getting good in Season 2. Not sure how to take that. I thought all the episodes were good, but for what it's worth, apparently people feel that things are, are finally starting to get good for season two. So that's going to be released tonight at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I want to talk in this video a little bit more about 2022 and what's coming uh, in our future. I've done a couple of videos recently, where, one where I talk about some of the positives, uh, positive uh, potential things I see coming in 2022. Last week was about some of the negative things that I see in our future, and there are an awful lot of them. I think certainly more negative potentials than there are positive coming in 2022. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about some of the political issues that are facing us in 2022, specifically here in the United States. At the time of this recording, I'm recording this video yesterday. You're seeing this on January 7th. I'm, re I'm recording this on January 6th, and it's the anniversary of the uh, riot, would you call them? Yeah, you, yeah, rioters, rioters, protesters storming the U.S. Capitol building a year ago today. Uh, the fallout from that is still, uh, you know, metastasizing through our society, uh, you know, a year later, it's still as fresh to some degree as it was back then, and people have all sorts of uh, you know opinions on it one way or the other. But I think what it represents, independent of who was doing the rioting and who sent them, uh, you know, certainly if Nancy Pelosi had sent a, a giant crowd of Antifa to you know smash their way into the White House, I'm sure all the Republicans would be just as cool about it. Just oh, they just you know your average tourist smashing their way into the way into the white house you know i mean people really are just you know it's ridiculous uh, politicians on both sides it's ridiculous the statements that they put out expecting people to you know put any credibility in anything that they say at this point but what all of it really illustrates well is that people whatever side of the political divide they are on in this country uh, are have reached a breaking point where they just can't interact with each other largely that's not the case with everyone certainly on this channel I'm really proud that we've cultivated a group of people that is pretty diverse uh, you know I tend to be much more progressive than uh, many people in the prepping community I know there are other people that would consider themselves progressives or, or left-leaning here that visit this channel I know there are a whole lot of uh, right-leaning people and I welcome everyone as long as we are talking about things honestly and respectfully of each other I think it can't be anything but good but groups like ours groups like what we have right here they're really the rarity and most people in this country cannot interact with each other in any kind of a constructive healthy civil way and that is going to become a greater and greater problem as we move through 2022 specifically because 2022 is a midterm election season I called the Biden win, uh, you know, many months before you know, the election last time. I, I thought that was pretty obvious that that was going to be uh, the way that it went. I'm calling for a definite flip of power uh, in the uh, uh, in Congress this time around during the midterm elections. I am very, very confident in that. Uh, it was a really narrow margin of victory uh, for uh, Biden last time. I I presumed it was going to be a narrow uh, margin of victory, and I feel that. Uh, it, the performance so far has been so disappointing to so many people, uh, people are going to be wanting for any kind of a change. I mean, honestly, for myself, I voted for Biden, and I almost would prefer the complete uh, gridlock, uh, ham-handed, non-government, like completely dysfunctional government that we had under Trump, uh, you know, to the you know, nefariously functional government that we have now, because it seems to me that most of the time, most of the time, when government tries to solve problems, they don't solve them or they potentially make them worse. I, that's not the progressive in me talking. That's, you know, the other part of me, you know, and, and that's true of all of us. I think, you know, uh, oftentimes we're called on to put yourself into a group, label yourself. And, you know, usually I think of myself as being a progressive, but that doesn't mean that every view that I, I hold is necessarily, you know, in line with that kind of progressive mindset. Uh, you know, and I think most people are like that and, and it really behooves all of us to kind of get away from the labels and just think about the things you feel, think uh, about the things that you believe are true, your values, and talk to people, uh, you know, more on those terms versus what team that you're on. But 
I think the teams are really going to be shaking up, uh, you know, over this next year. I feel that the writing is on the wall for that, and I think a lot of people are going to understand that the writing is on the wall for that, uh, and that's going to cause a lot of people to uh, become more and more unhinged. And we have a we have an unhinged society to begin with. Uh, you know, Biden uh, is probably the least uh, the least exciting, least interesting, least um, uh, least visionary, least notable, uh, progressive left-leaning president that we've had in my entire lifetime. And yet, despite that, because people were so tired of Trump, myself included, I thought that Trump was just an orange embarrassment the entire four years that he was there, though he never brought us to war, and that I definitely give him credit for, but I was really glad to see Trump go, and so were so many other people, uh, that they would gotten to the point with, with Biden, they've got this huge, massive, uh, you know, bro crush on him, uh, you know, everyone's gushing about like everything. Got, Biden blows his nose, and people are like, "Oh, he just blows his nose in such a, you know, a presidential way." He has such a presidential air to, uh, to him when he's like wiping snot off of his face. People are just, uh, you know, so crazy about this kind of change that when all that starts slipping away from them, in the same way that people became unhinged and so, uh, you know, frustrated and angry uh, that brought on the riots on the Capitol last year, I see a lot of that stuff kind of starting happening, you know, from the other direction, you know, over over the next year as, you know, the people that feel like, you know, uh, you know, we got rid of Trump and now it's just, you know, you know, our progressive platform forever, as they see that that is going to start kind of eroding away, I see a lot of that frustration turning into anger and violence, and I think 2022 is going to be a very difficult year politically as well. We can fight against that though, and we don't fight against it with rocks and stones and bullets and all that kind of stuff. We fight against it with dialogue and listening and, uh, and um, trying to have a basic level of understanding uh, with other people and remembering that, you know, we as Americans, we as human beings have far more in common with each other than we have that separates us. And I know that we have a lot of things that separate us and, uh, you know, it doesn't always feel that way. But the basic core values that we all have, that we all share, are that we all want life, liberty, and happiness or property, depending on you know whether you're a John Locke fan or a, uh, a Thomas Jefferson fan. But we all kind of have those shared kind of uh, uh, values. We all want you know life of ourselves, life of our family, our health. We want liberty, we want freedom, we want to have the ability to do the things that we want to do. Uh, you know, uh, even even a lot of the uh, arguments, you know, with the kind of totalitarian lockdown of people uh, and, you know, forcing vaccines on people. Uh, it's all, the rhetoric behind it is all, I want you to be vaccinated so I can have the freedom to go out and go to, you know, movie theaters and restaurants and do all the other things that I want to do. All the stuff that people are talking about is because they love their freedoms. You know, they might want to take some of your liberty to, <laughs> you know, to, uh, you know, get some of their freedoms. But the idea of freedom is a value that we all share. And the idea of, you know, people don't want to, even progressives don't like paying taxes. I, well, you know, I guess super rich ones don't seem to mind it very much because, you know, they got plenty of disposable income. But, you know, for, you know, the average working class person, whether you're, you know, right wing or left wing, you know, people like to keep their property. Nobody loves paying taxes. So we we all share life, liberty, property, happiness. Those are all values that we all have in common. And you know, there were there were hot button issues that politicians from above try to uh, you know impose on us from above to keep us divided because a divided populace is the easiest kind of population to, to control, to manipulate. So that people are you know looking at each other instead of looking up at the people that are kind of upstairs that are really running the show. So. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a really, really challenging year. And, you know, the best way to get ready for that is to prep and, you know, be ready to listen to other people and make make it so people feel heard. It's important to listen to people, but it's also important to, to let them know that you're listening. You know, check in with people and let them know that they are being heard to some degree. Because if someone feels like you've heard them, they're much more likely to listen to you as well. That's it. 8.30, Alien Invasion. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.